Seven. If you'd like to join us on the phone or 800-348-1007. Next chance for you to grab $1,000 is coming up at 2.30. We're not telling you what to do with the money. That is entirely up to you, but uh, we are happy to provide it for you. So 2.30 and then 4.30, 5.30, and 6.30 on this show. Cool. We skip the 3.30. Uh, I'm not sure why, uh, but that's how we do it around here. you got about a dozen chances every day. Saturday night, MMS and iHeartRadio are doing, um, it's a it's a thing in conjunction with the World Health Organization. and uh, to, 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 Yes. <laughs> the World Health Organization. Or they uh, really should have went with the World Organization of Health. Oh. Whoa. 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 <laughs> or the Health Organization for the World. Mm, that works. How? How can we help you today? <laughs> Uh, it is called Together at Home. It's going to be hosted by the Troika, Jimmy Fallon, Jimmy Kimmel, and Stephen Colbert. I always wonder how, um, the hell's his name? Little Jimmy Conan? Corden, oh, Corden feels when he gets left out of these things. And you got two Jimmys and a Steve on this thing, and of course they seem to be all fast friends. You know, the old late night wars seem largely over because back in the day you had Johnny Carson and then basically no one else. And so if, you know, you had a couple of shows on, now there's so many goddamn shows on. It's well, like, the, I think the these real, people have all been like, yeah, who cares? The it real is. late night wars between Letterman and Leno through like the end of the 90s, early 2000s, right? Yeah, those were the last yeah, ones. Yeah, it's yeah the really network late night shows. Mm -hmm. um, did you see Jimmy Fallon in The Roots do Stuck in the Middle? I did not. It's fantastic. Really Is it the little it, tiny instrument thing? And no, mm -hmm. it's just mm -hmm. that like they're all at home playing real instruments, mm -hmm. and it's very good. Okay. It's, it's worth checking out. Well, Together at Home is going to be Saturday night. Uh, you will hear it live over on 96.5 KISS FM, but you can also watch it on ABC, NBC, or CBS. Wow. That's Everybody's awesome. airing it because, you know, they're like, well, that'll give us a couple hours that we don't have to put a rerun of... Mannix on. I don't know how deep they're Manics. diving. <laughs> I don't know how deep they're diving. I saw that CBS is bringing back like the Sunday night movie. This is a thing from when I was a kid, you know, because they don't really have a whole lot of who knows when they're going to have a uh, new production on television. So they're like, let's just take we've, what we've got in the archives. Let's take things that we own. Why don't they put Star Trek on? They the probably will. The Picard show, and they have, you know, they, they had that... Uh, oh, on CBS All Access. Terrible, what's it called? The, the Twilight, Twilight Zone. Twilight Zone reboot. Yeah. Terrible, but it's there, and it hasn't been seen by everybody, so throw it on TV. Maybe they will. Yeah. I know they were offering... I think they're still trying to get people to subscribe to that, yeah. and so they were like, we'll give it to you for free for a month, try, you know. Mm -hmm. But anyway, this uh, Together at Home... It's going to be a lot, as the name implies. We did one of these um, a couple of weeks ago, and this one is going to be on network television. It's going to be Saturday night at 8 o'clock with Alanis Morissette and Billy Joe Armstrong, Eddie Vedder, uh, Chris Martin, who just did SNL from home, uh, Elton John. He hosted the couch concert. Yep. Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga. Paul McCartney from London, I assume. I think he's sheltering in place mm -hmm. overseas. And many, many more. Billie Eilish, who was taking some heat for posting a montage video on her Instagram um, from a vacation she took not too long ago, and she was in a bikini. And people were like, oh, she turns 18. No. And she's like, I can't win with you people. Mm -hmm. Ugh. I was wearing garbage bags until I turned 18 because right. I didn't want everybody talking about my jugs. And now, you know, I want to have fun. I want to whatever. I can't win. How dare these people. What was the video? It's on her Instagram. Anyway, so <laughs> Together at Home is going to be a Saturday night at 8 o'clock. Uh, if that's something that you want to check out, and you absolutely should, because it's, um, I think that it will have, uh, I don't know, what the hell do I know? That's going on Saturday night. Uh, if you want to watch it on TV or you can listen to it uh, across the hall at uh, 96.5 KISS FM. Um, have you seen, speaking of videos, the girl who uh, talks to herself from January of 2020, did you watch that video? No. no. The girl who goes back in time to explain, uh, to she goes back to talk to her herself from January yeah. to try to explain what's going on. That's pretty funny. Who, is it a comic or anything? Yeah, or I think it must be somebody with a YouTube channel. 
Uh, what's her name? Her name is... She's cute. Julie Nolke? Oh, I don't know her. Yeah, I don't either. Actually? Are you here to tell me what's going to happen? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, because of the, the butterfly effect, I can only really give you... Um, some loose details, but we'll go through the basics, yeah. Okay. Obviously, it's intercut on, on opposite sides of the kitchen table mm -hmm. yeah, where yeah, she's yeah. talking to herself. Cool. So, do you want the good news or the bad news? Oh, um, good, good news? Yeah. Oh, yeah. great choice. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. Um, so, things have never been better for climate change. No, that's great. Dolphins in the Venice canals. Really? I know. I know. Well, it's, I, I, I mean, I saw it on Facebook. I don't know if it's a real thing. My aunt posted it, but it seems pretty legit. Oh. Okay. Well, that's, I mean, that's incredible. You know, especially given the Australian wildfires. The what? <laughs> oh, yeah. Because, I mean, those are pretty, like, I think those are going to be the defining feature of 2020. Yeah, you'd think. Oh, no? Not even a little bit. Yeah, I forgot about the, I've already forgotten we about the Australian did, yeah. wildfires. Jeez. Yeah. Until this video. Really? Wait, because they're, they're a pretty big deal. Yeah, your definition of a pretty big deal is going to change for sure. Wow. Okay, so what is the bad news then? You are going to want to pull all your investments. What? Yeah, just <laughs> yeah, get, get everything out of the stock market. Ugh, get oh. it all out. Oh, it's a recession. You know what? Put a little money in Zoom. Isn't that a conferencing app? Yes, trust me. Okay. While we're being proactive. How many people were using Zoom before this, by the way? I had never I had heard, never of, heard of it. Yeah. I had heard of Slack and Skype and yeah. all those other things. I had never heard of Zoom before Me either. this. Yeah. Actually, if you could just do a Costco run real quick, I was going to save you a lot of hassle. Costco. I do you have any hobbies? You know, just something to, something to keep you busy? Um, I, no, not really. You should get a dog. I want a dog. You know I want a dog. I just, they're, they're, they're a lot of work and you've got to walk, you've got to go outside with them twice a day. Right. The walks are going to be clutch. <laughs> right. But I mean, I have to leave them because I have so much travel coming up. Hmm. <laughs> 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 oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no you don't well yeah i am trapped for work oh you won't be working but how do i afford stuff do you take vitamins or juice no okay it might be it might be a good time to just you know get get that body in tip-top shape get 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 strong get those lungs a pumping you know cardio little aerobic what the hell is gonna happen look i know it all sounds scary but it's really not that bad you know, for you, right? I mean, for some people, it's it's not, but for you, it's it's really not. <laughs> like, Ugh, no, yeah. it's uh... bad. Um, I I would uh, you know, would you rather be in a busy shopping mall or at home on the couch watching Netflix? The couch? Exactly. You're gonna be just fine. Okay. What do you know about the world of big cats? Yeah, <laughs> it's called explaining the pandemic to my past self, and she goes back to talk to herself from January. It's pretty That's funny. It's very funny. Yeah, it doesn't even have a million hits yet, but it will get there quickly. Dr. Fauci making the rounds, of course. He's everyone's hero, one of the scientists, one of the experts, one of the people who, if you're paying attention, knows things about things. Soon to be fired. Well, we'll see. Mm -hmm. But he says that... Um, you know, you got to kind of wait and see. He says uh, the virus will determine when everything opens back up. <laughs> he's adorable. Oh, he's just going by facts, this guy. That's where you get into trouble in this administration. That's where you get into trouble. Ultimately, the virus is going to determine when we really can safely reopen. Not only in general, but in a particular location. So, you know, you, you see those curves that are shown all the time. If we are assuming that two weeks from now that all the curves are going to be down, that, I, I think that's, that's, you know, a bit overly optimistic. And frankly, you know, Mary has gone 69 days without somebody flattening her curves. No mm -hmm. curves have been flattened. God damn. Touched. Arched. On, no arches. No arches. No nothing. Ugh. Ugh the worst. It's only going to get worse. <laughs> Well, what do they say? It's got to get worse before it gets better. The only way out is 
through. Always darkest before the dawn. Always darkest before the dawn, light at the end of the tunnel. There's nothing I'm in sorry the tunnel. Sorry to mention tunnels. <laughs> mm-hmm. Got $1,000 here for you. Um, stash it into a tunnel if you need to, where no one will find it. And then you can trade it for gold down the road. All right, 1000 bucks to do with whatever you see fit. Good luck. Rover's Morning Glory wants to help with a chance at $1,000. We have your shot at a grand right now. Text the nationwide keyword, thanks, T-H-A-N-K-S, to 200-200. You'll get a text confirming entry plus iHeartRadio info. Standard data and message rates apply in this nationwide contest. That's thanks to 200-200. Good luck from 100.7 WMMS. In fact, Dr. Fauci used that very phrase, light at the end of the tunnel. Hey. He's, he's being positive. You have to be. Everything ends, right? Mm-hmm. Mm. But if the, you look at huh, but the the virus is in charge. They have absolute power. The virus does. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. The virus Absolute. That. Well, when you're the virus, you can do whatever you want. Exactly. If you look at the New York metropolitan area as kind of the prototype that's been driving this through the country, and then look at the country as a whole, there's no doubt what we've seen over the last several days is a flattening out. And even when you get to New York, it's actually starting to come down regarding admissions, hospitalizations, needs for intensive care and intubation. Hopefully that trend will continue. So as I say, I'm a very cautious person, but we are seeing some light at the end of the tunnel. By the way, I've seen no shortage whatsoever or a diminishing of the peregrine falcons that roost on the uh, venerable iHeartMedia building here or swoop all around us all the time, Mm -hmm. right? You'd certainly think... That they would be, uh, I don't know, uh, looking for food. How do they feed? They probably do people still draw animals. animals. Yeah, probably. on animals, Rodents? probably yeah. squirrels and stuff like that. Yeah, are they kill. a vulture type? Yeah, but haven't all those migrated toward the city looking for food since nobody's out here anymore? No, predatory they're still bird. Food. Hmm. They're still. I don't know if these are all. You don't think these are garbage birds? Like they were just feeding on no, what not, people dropped no. in the parking lot? No, sure. no, not, no. Not falcons. Okay. That's like they seagulls like mice and stuff. And stuff. Yeah. yeah. They didn't get fat, eating like candy bars that were left behind or anything. Right, so fat many, they couldn't how, even get up anymore. How, how many candy bars do you see left behind in this area? That's a really good point. Nobody, no nobody like candy behind. Even Come the wrappers on. looked licked clean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I went grocery shopping today. Hey, Look things are you. being stocked, guys. There was oh, toilet paper. Oh, good for you. How many did they allow you to buy? It was only one, Is but it? still, like the shelves had toilet paper on them. Toilet only paper, one. You're allowed to buy one at a time. A lot of stores I've seen two. two. I don't think yeah. I've seen one anywhere. Well, this is one. Where was this? Giant Eagle and Rocky River. All right, there you go. Giant Eagle, Rocky River. If that's your grocery store, be advised. Mm-hmm. One package of... T- now, toilet paper comes in different sized packages. Yes, I got a... Thir- not a 36. Not the biggest one, the second biggest one. 18, maybe? But do they say you can only buy one package, or you can only buy a certain number of rolls? One package. So if you were to get the giant package, not- you'd be better off than someone who got, like, a 10-pack. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Just get what you need, too. Yeah, you well, don't that's have the other to, thing. I don't need don't, all that. You're one person. Yeah, that's that's people, a lot of toilet paper but for clearly you. People, That'll last me the rest of the but year. But clearly, people don't know what they need, or they wouldn't have had a run on it. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, they had the they had taken down the signs about like chicken and beef and stuff too because all the meats were oh, those are going to go back up real soon but it will because for a while it was like hey you can have one pack of chicken you can have one thing of ground beef um but that's were buying all of them right yeah. now it's all back the bread aisle is completely stocked like everything pasta's back mac and cheese mm-hmm. all the canned goods everything i don't know if they just stocked it today but everything was fully stocked there wasn't anything that was out so what you're saying is if i want to start making my famous alan cox Barbecue beef chicken toilet paper sandwiches. Yes. All of the ingredients that I'll how need. How become famous? <laughs> Bill, you know how it became famous. I just can't. I tell two friends, and then they tell two friends, okay. and then so on and so on and so on. I'm just saying, I've never heard of them. So. Well, now Barbe- you have. Barbecue Bone chicken apple beef? Tea. Bone apple tea, Bill. Yeah. Huh? Say it again. What was it? My famous beef chicken toilet paper Sandwiches. There was barbecue in there. Well, there is that's barbecue, okay. but uh, that's how I make them. What part is the bun? The chicken? Is the it bread. Like you said chicken? the bread aisle stuff. Oh, you didn't say. You just said toilet paper. No, no. I said sandwich. Beef, chicken, toilet paper, sandwich. So I thought the, that it was like the toilet paper was, was the bread. This, yeah. No, no. I'm sorry. Because the bread aisle is now stocked. Yes. I'm not a, I'm not a heathen. Well, no. I don't know. You need proper... 
I would recommend for the flavor profile hoagie bun sourdough. Oh, how do you pro- <laughs> how do you prepare the toilet paper? Is it just, carefully? Is it just carefully? Raw, or do you like saute it or carefully? What? Just it'll, it'll go up. Yeah, but when you're grilling, one or two wipes. It's hard, boy. You got to be very careful. You got to get that f- plate for when you grill fish. Mm-hmm. It's right off the off the roll. I would not recommend single ply. Okay. That's Do why you wet it's... it first? Will that help with the burning? <laughs> Are we still talking about my <laughs> toilet paper it's sandwiches? Too, it's too uh, mushy then, though. Not if you get the strong stuff. <sighs> no, I don't wet it. Okay. No. Now, again, the reason that this has become famous and so popular, mm-hmm. check anyone's Pinterest page, Bill. Okay. Uh, and um, is because they kind of put their own little twist on it. Yeah. You know, I know a lady who hit me up in Ames, Iowa, who said, I love this recipe. I gave it to my family. We like to use baby wipes in place of toilet paper. <gasps> gives it a bit more, uh, gives it a bit more, pipes, though. <laughs> gives a bit more heft. And uh, I said, whatever you, I'm just happy to, uh, to have um, kind Helped. of given birth to this. Yeah. Have you thought about maybe wrapping the meat in the toilet paper almost as a marinade? I have not. Letting it sit overnight before An- putting it on the grill? Another great idea. Put it in no, the fridge, I nope. wrap it up, let it sit for 24 hours? No. Again, there are people who are far more skilled than I at cooking, and so I've kind of I've left it to them to come up with their own ideas, right? But the fundamentals remain the same. Yes. Since everything is back in stock, as you said now. Yes. Uh, again, I go with sourdough. Sourdough, chicken, beef, toilet paper sandwiches. These are, boy, they're a hit at Casa Cox. Nom, nom, nom. And I it's, bet. it is hard to get a four year old to eat just about anything, Bill, but I'll tell you what, <laughs> these sandwiches. Now, I, yeah, I but a, she picks off the chicken and beef and just eats the toilet paper. <laughs> hey, whatever goes in. You I know? put them on little Hawaiian <laughs> slider buns, and oh, man, man does she scarf those up. What's the side dish? Gloves? No. Food, Mary. What are you, psycho? I'm just asking. Gloves. What no, is it then? food. Huh? What kind of food? <laughs> no I, food? What is the good side dish for the barbecue toilet paper sandwich? I like a uh, mac and cheese with a little with a, uh, a foamy soap reduction. <laughs> <laughs> foamy soap reduction. Fancy. I'm not, right. getting, I'm not getting... We talked uh, about foamy soap being fancy. Yeah. Well, yeah, after I was shamed, because I didn't realize I was buying poor people soap. I have uh-huh. poor people soap. It's okay. I didn't know that. Well, you... You should see. I'm not my, a millionaire. That's true. You should see my basement shelves before I was told. I, we have racks of soaps and things, you know. Give me um, all your poor people soap. Well, I'm, I'm, we're going to use them. But then when we were at Bill's, I was like, that foamy soap's no joke. And it wasn't like I wasn't aware of foamy soap. just hadn't occurred to me. He goes, yeah, I'm not, what did he say? I'm not poor. Yeah. yeah when you use foamy I was soap. like, I didn't know that foam. except the, I got bit in the ass because I tried that foamy soap here at work. And my hands smelled like it was like I yeah, had the bath marinated. And body works. works. Body works just well, what do I know? One from the pungent. other. On that subject, though, do you um, for the foamy soap reduction? Is it seasonal? So, like, do you do like fresh linen in the spring, and then dealer's choice? Dealer's choice. Yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. so it's not like a nice spruce for whatever, the wintertime. Whatever you like. Okay. Whatever you like. All right. It doesn't have to. No, I, I think a lot of people might be averse to um, the, the taste of pine. I don't if that's know. that's what you're getting at. People drink gin all the time. <laughs> but they true. love like Christmas the taste of toilet paper. Well, <laughs> well that's more of a texture thing. Yeah. It's not there for really. It's like a water chestnut. It's not right. there for taste. It's there for texture. And the best part is, I'm joking now, but in two months, I won't be. <laughs> Everybody will be coming to me. No. What was that recipe again? I'm down to my last four items. Well, you're in luck. What kind of barbecue sauce? Oh, Stubbs. <laughs> okay. All the way. Stubbs. Stubbs, Kansas City. Yeah. Sweet Baby Ray's. What are you, 10? Yes. No. That's brown ketchup, my sister. No, it is not. Uh, Stubbs, The little please. sweet and spicy one? Stubbs. In a glass bottle Love like bottle. an adult. Like a human adult. I'm a human adult. Sweet Baby Ray's. I bought jelly beans today. That's how much of an <laughs> adult I am. That's pretty good. On sale, Starburst jelly beans. Come on. Yeah. It's the best one. How? Yeah, they are pretty good, aren't they? I have they? a little baggie in the, yeah. in the office if you want some. No, purple I, ones are the I, best. I went wild and I stocked up on office snacks. Yeah, so, your oh. high chews. And he's got bad Now I got high chews. I got that yeah. suitcase of high chews at home. I have a question they just don't And a on tooth me. rattling around in a bowl. Yeah. How do you think influencers are doing during this time? 
Are How they, are they doing? Yeah, are they still making money through Instagram? I feel like, one, I mean, if people want to advertise, Instagram's the way to do it because people are looking at their phones right now. I think it depends on what you are trying to influence people I just, with. I, I don't know why I thought about I that. I think I assume Twitch streamers and things like that are still making money hand over fist, but... Masks are big. I see a lot of masks in my feed. Mask influencers? Well, just like Jim Carrey? A certain brand. That. I'm sure they'll make yeah, designer, just, designer masks. Yeah. You mean like streetwear masks? Just just masks in general, yeah. There's just masks all over my ba- feed. Baklavas. <laughs> Balaclavas? Yeah. I haven't seen any masks on it's my like feed. Baklavas. Mine but is but, all furniture right now because that's all I've been Googling. Yeah, but I'm not clear though. So there are people who are like, hey, buy this mask hashtag ad. Yeah, could they have mm. it matched with your outfit or something? I don't no. really follow a lot of people that. His are targeted ads. Yeah. That's what he's talking about. His oh. targeted ads are mostly masks. You're not following influencers. I'm not sorry. getting those either. Not really. My targeted ads are all furniture and rugs. That's it. Yeah, mine are all like drums and artists and yeah. gear. Huh. All right. And clothes. You oh, know. now mine's the leaf filter. Oh, hey! To help with my gutters that I don't have. <laughs> On the ninth hey, floor you of go. your building. Mm-hmm. Here's the funny part, though, and I hate to break this to you because I know you're paying those steep HOA fees. Leaf you, coleslaw on the side of your sandwich. You do have gutters, and it's your responsibility to clean them. They didn't tell you that, did they? But, but I don't. You do. They're up just on the other side of the building. Mm. All right. It was a, a construction error. All right. I'll, You're going to have to get there. Do you, are get my you step able, ladder. Yes. Are you able to afford uh, window washing equipment? Mm-hmm. Okay. I, I know a guy. Yeah, you good. scaffolding permits? Yeah, There's, his dad's, dad's in construction. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Stuff. Uh, his dad is an essential uh A lot essential of shoe business. organizers, too, in my mm. feed. Targeted ads. Those actually... These ones that slide out they are pretty cool. <laughs> what is a They're shoe cool. organizer? It's a like bin. A, it's like a bin. My hands are my shoe organizers. See this? It's a and bin. Then it, it's a bin. It's a, oh, a it's like a bin. bin oh. And then it like slides out. And They're shoe-sized bins. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But they, they slide out and they look almost nice like and you a, can display them. Almost like a box that a shoe might come in. Oh. Kind of similar. But that's, that's how not, I have my shoes organized. In, that's not been invented yet. I have I my know, shoes those... organized in boxes. Me too. Oh. Well, when you get they so don't many get, shoes. They don't get dusty. It's not just... How many pairs of shoes do you have? I like two. Hundred? <laughs> two. He has two pairs of shoes. That's mm-hmm. why the organizer's aspirational. He goes, one of these days, I'm going to mm. fill this puppy up. Oh, it's full. You got a couple Full hundred of pairs of shoes, don't you? Not a couple hundred. No, I'm not that. Do you have more than a hundred pairs of shoes? Don't no, be coy. Not even no. How many? Fifty. I would say no. I'd say twenty pairs. Oh, 20, 25, I have thirty-five. 20, You're 25, a chick. 30 pairs. And You're a chick. Did, 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 did all yours cost two hundred dollars? No, most of them did not. <laughs> okay. None of them did. Mm-hmm. I don't think I have a pair of $200 shoes. Oh, I have more than a few pairs of $200 shoes. I have a pair of $200 shoes that are actually like $500 pair of boots that I got at a consignment shop for 75 bucks. Somebody else's shoes? Yeah. Well, your feet are not someone else's feet. <laughs> yeah, that's but, true. But someone else's <laughs> shoes tape. are your shoes. That's true if you buy them, yeah. All right. They were, oh, they're so nice. Yeah, well, they I, should be. Are we doing, those. They were already worn in. Barely. Yeah, we're doing um, fancy Are we doing Friday. formal Friday? Are, are ghost shoes a thing? Oh, yeah, we can do formal Friday. And I will wear them on Friday. They're Stuart <laughs> make Weitzman boots. Someone could have got murdered and then those were their shoes. So that could have been. Ghost shoes. I don't have ghost shoes. <laughs> ghost they, they walk shoes. by themselves. And it's like, no. Mary, pick me. They just come up to you. <laughs> no, they were sitting there and I went over and I was like, oh my God, these are beautiful. And the lady was like, we've had those for six months and nobody's been able to fit them. Like wow. everybody who wants them. And they fit perfect. Yeah. And okay, Cinderella. You know I how, know. It was a very Cinderella moment. Here, You know, you might want to look into whether or not they were ghost shoes. How? Because they probably had no soul. <laughs> All right, um, I've got to take a break. If you want to get a text in uh, to chastise me for that or whatever, 35192, alancockshow.com if you want to watch, and uh, the iHeartRadio app for everything else. The Alan Cox Show on 100.7 WMMS. And everywhere you go on our free iHeartRadio.